hey guys welcome back to our channel this is us plus two i'll be forgetting guys because i know you some of you guys remember my name used to be it's that girl cat but i decided to make it a family channel because i do more experiences with family that's another business but yeah so i want to go show you guys my what is it a weekend like five days post-op um as you guys seen another video i got chin lipo i'm sorry if i keep looking like right here and the camera thing is right there it's really hard to get used to but anyways you guys know that i got lipo uh, um a week and five days ago and um well yeah i'm still healing it's still swollen like i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh well you still have a double chin but if you guys see right here it's hard i got fibrosis so all this is in travel fibrosis look that shit hurts really bad but if this when they massage this and this goes down it's gonna be like this and the guy said i wasn't gonna see the doctor said i wasn't gonna see results let me back up i wasn't gonna see results until like um a month but so far like from the pictures i have i see the difference at first i was like no i don't see difference i just got the shit for nothing i don't know what but yeah i see it coming in and i mean as a lot of i don't know if you guys know what fibrosis means but why well, i have fibrosis but it's coming in little by little just wanted to give you guys an update because i have been lagging it i hate cars um right now i'm gonna go get my massages done i go to two girls i go to monita's beauty bar i think that's what it's called monita's beauty bar i will put her name down below and i go to like this old fashioned lady um i don't think she has a name it's just terapeutica she says uh but right now yeah i'm gonna go get my massages done and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit because i really don't like recording i get embarrassed and because you know i'm trying to like relax and like you know but yeah um when i get there i'll try to record then and i'll show you guys my process and then i'll talk to you guys more about like prices where i went uh how did i find them and all that so she said it's good for the inchazón so yeah i'm on my way to pick up my kids right now and then we're just gonna go home and i'm gonna go cook because i'm pretty sure they're hungry but yeah and i do wear a faja guys but believe it or not like hold on. i do wear a faja guys but believe it or not like i get so embarrassed like you guys have no idea like i get so embarrassed when i wear it and um and I'm driving because people just fucking stare. Sorry, people. Like, people just stare. So, I be getting embarrassed. But, um, right now when I get home, um, I'll discuss prices and, like, where I went and everything. But, thank you guys for watching. Hey, guys. I'm back. Um, this clip is different. Obviously, you can tell. i changed the other one. I didn't keep recording it. I got busy. Sorry, it's been what like two days a day from the other clip. I think like two days. Two days. Two days. So um, as you guys seen, I got my massages and um, I still have a little bit of balls as you can see right here, because um, like I was saying, I have fibrosis. They have um, taken out a lot of them. Like they've 
made it softer um i still have these on this side this side is kind of a little bit worse i think than this side but um yeah so now i'm gonna talk about the prices and where did i go and what was my whole procedure so he's gonna help me because he booked everything for me so he's gonna talk to you guys too so i have booked it in tijuana uh, the place is called Natural Beauty Splite. I believe she had told me that, like, uh, I think like four months, before, four or five months before. And um, why I went ahead, I messaged them on WhatsApp and everything. And I set up an appointment with them. And why well, I wanted to surprise How her with that. How long did it take you to get the appointment with them? Was it pretty fast? Uh, the the or like a response from the mom the response was fast like the response was fast it was like the same day i believe and then from there well they told me the days they had available so i told them i picked the day available and then i think the only one they had was uh 22 of february at 5 p.m and then they told me they only had available till june so they squeezed you in, huh, yeah, they, for that one? Yeah, so I, because I told them, like... Yeah, you really uh, wanted it done soon, huh? Yeah, and she wanted to get uh, her... Bichetomia. Bichetomia and the lipo papada. So, we're well, talking about prices. Uh, the lipo papada was $500. Which is cheap, people. And the... Bichetomia. The bichetomia was, I believe, $300. Yeah, because we paid a total of what? It was a total of $900. It was a total of $900, but it came... But... We had to order medicine. No, um... I think... The if I'm not off. wrong... I think the other 100 was for the... Uh-huh. No, it was for the... Anesthesia. The, oh yeah whatever that's called Anestolo? yeah some shit like that like yeah for the anest anesthesia yeah. anesthesia so <laughs> anesthesia. Anesthesia. it was 900 bucks uh they just asked you for a hundred dollars a hundred dollars deposit and the the response everything was quick just sell them the money send it to them and just screenshot it and it was everything was just so quick and what I had, I surprised her with that. I surprised her with that because that was the security she already had for the past couple of months already. And she's been telling me. So, you know, I told her, you know, like, the like I was talking about, the price was 900 bucks. Uh, to me, it wasn't, it wasn't expensive. It was actually cheap because uh, other people, so it could have been cheaper because I decided to get more things, no, like the anesthesia, no, like one thing to like put me to, like numb, no, or something. If I felt a lot of anxiety or something. Yeah, like, like uh, I don't know what's I don't it know called. What it's called. But, Honestly, I'm sorry. Uh, but I know yeah. she needed that. Yeah, and, I get really um, nervous. She, I know she gets really nervous in procedures like this. And well. Damn, I don't have that many done. <laughs> no, well, I know. I just no. get very like I'm very like I'm very scared of needles like like even when I'm gonna go get a vacuna or something like like trust me like I se me baja la presión so like obviously if I was gonna get like meat removed from the inside of my cheek and like a whole lipo on my face and you're looking at it I, I was gonna be very very nervous so yeah that's one so that's the bichotomia what they do is um well I'm not gonna show my mouth but like on the inside. They make like two little incisions probably like on the back of my cheek like right here like but in the, in the in the inside and then on the other inside and um what they do is they push all the fat that i have from here all the way like they push it out and it's like a ball of like fat and they like take it out and they throw it into like this pan thing the um they did that to both sides two little incisions for the first time i couldn't talk my mouth was pretty swollen then um well, yeah, that one I, I healed, I think, like, the next day already. Like, the incisions in your mouth, everyone knows they always heal fast. Um, The next one I did was when they did the, the chin lipo, which they do two little incisions right here. I'm not sure if you can see them because I have makeup, guys. 
or like right here oh it's right here so they do that in the two sides um this one i think you guys can see more sorry if it's a little wrinkle it's because i have fibrosis like right oh, here that is fibrosis right yeah there. that's why it looks lumpy and still like the, but so that's an incision right there um so they do one here two here well one and one i mean sorry and um so they'll do this light bulb like let's say like this like this and then this one's for all this area so it's like going like this so right here as you can see i have fibrosis these are lumps for fibrosis all of these they you have to get them not everyone gets them um you get the massages and then this will take off and they'll just like look more like tight yeah little by little so little by little like i do see the difference i will post a picture right here so you guys can see it i'll insert one um it's gonna take a month like a month huh he said for results to like fully show it's like a month to three months yeah and i'm barely barely two weeks on wednesday turn two weeks today is thursday yeah they started so yesterday turned two weeks and yeah you can see the difference i'm not gonna get like super super snatched like results obviously because I have big cheeks already. I've been having them even when I was like super skinny, huh? Like, yeah. It's just my cheeks already, like, so cachetona. But um, but yeah. So far, I really recommend them. I really like the doctor. Um, what's his name? Let me uh, see. Let, let me, me see. So this is them right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, natural. It's called Natural, natural Body Spot Tijuana. Oh. Man, them like uh, their service, everything was just great, and they're uh, super nice, super nice, they make you feel uh, comfortable, clean, you know, very clean, yeah, very so professional, professional. Because there's there's some that you know that, yeah, just not like, yeah, there's I've gone to Tijuana to get like other, I've gone to like not to get procedures, but like to have consultations with other doctors about like stuff, you know, and they're very mean like they're very unprofessional and this one you can like it's very safe building too um you literally need an access code to actually go up the elevator and everything and there's securities all over the place huh yeah. you go up the elevator only if you can only go in like you're only able to go into the lobby and then if you want to go up to the building you literally need a code which that code only works by your hour of your appointment so if you don't have that code, you cannot go up. And then you go up with your code, which the code only works for 10 minutes, I believe. Like 10 minutes, right? To go like, in. Yeah, and like then once you go out, it deactivates. You can never use that code again. So you'll go up, you'll go into the doctor, you'll check in. It's a nice little office. Um, as you guys, I think I showed in the other in my other video that I posted. Um, if you guys wanna look at it, go check it out. <laughs> um, I showed the hotel and every, the hotel, the, what is it called? I'm stuck. The medical. Y'all see the medical plaza. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, like really lucky. But we just had that luck that day. Like. Yeah, you guys gotta check out our other video. I kinda explain a little bit about it. Yeah. And we um, luck. um practically he didn't check the date. Well the whole time in my head I was like, all right, February twenty three. He said Fe February twenty three and he took me on february no february. it was no, no it, he was february it was on february 2022 it was on the, the day before yeah the day before and he thought it was on february 23 and he took me that day and then i'm he's like messaging her like oh i'm here um my code is not working and i don't know what and i'm like reading his message while he's like reading to her and i see that the appointment said it was on february 22 and i was like it says it's on Tuesday, so why are we here on a Wednesday? And he's like, what the hell? So we're like, what the hell? So I'm like, well, let's just go home. I told them already. Like, we just, well, that's it. It's not meant to be. I'm very, like, superstitious about shit. Like, oh, my God, it's not meant to be if, you know, like, God's giving me a sign not to do it or stuff like that, you know? Like, because I was, like, wimping out. And he's like, no, you're going to get it done. He's like, I'm going to message them and ask them if they can squeeze you in. And I'm like, how are they going to squeeze us in if they're booked till um June? Like, or July, June june right yeah, they're booked till june i was like they're not gonna be able to squish us in like if that was the case then they'll squish everybody in you know and he's like no i'm gonna just message him so the nurse was like no ask just ask the doctor like i'm gonna like try to like bring you up so you can like ask him 
So the, the she ended up saying that the doctor said that yes, that he'll do one procedure, that he would only do my double chin, just like the, the, the double chin. And we, she was like, but when you come up, try to ask him if he'll do the other thing for you. And we were like, okay. So right when we got there, how we like, we were the only ones there. He ended up saying, all right, yeah, we'll do one procedure. And um, the lady in the front office was like, you know what? Like, if you talk to him, he'll probably, you know? I'll probably do it. Yeah, so I was like, all right then. So I told her, like, talk to him good and everything. Let him know. And I, the point, the he changed the appointment to set to 7 because I was his last. He was already practically going to be closed at 7. Yeah. They closed at 7, the whole plaza. He was going to close, but he pretty much stayed over time just so he can, um... Let me get my procedure done. Yeah. So when we went up there, um, it was just him and a nurse. He's already like a male nurse. Like it was just him and that guy. And he had left all his staff leave already. So um, I don't even know where we should be saying this. Like what if he's fucking going to get in trouble? <laughs> um, um, but um, nah, it was, everything was just like perfect. Um, like, yeah. Everything went, went good, you know, like. And um, well, when I was done, shit my sock um i have i'm sorry it's a little dirty guys not dirty because it's like this is not even dirty this is my hair dye i dyed my hair black and i wet, wear my hair wet so it kind of dirtied my faja and then it squished my ears like down so he thought of making a hole on it so like yeah these are just holes and this is my hair dye because i dyed my hair black so it's not even dirty um this is the faja i have to wear to wear this i literally wear it all night all day all day literally i just like when i go out i try not to wear it i don't really go out much so i'll wear it like this i have to wear this for a home what month in like a cool month yeah. <laughs> so this this is how i have to be look <laughs> yeah so um we ended up getting back to LA, like to our house. Already, like it was already like one in the morning, right? Like one in the morning. Did we? Yeah, it was Did like what? one. It was like one in the morning. We were like eleven. Nah, we we're still at the borderline at eleven. Oh, you're right. Cause I. Oh, well, uh, he did my after, well, if people know, you know, after five, they don't let people pass no more with the pass. medical pass. So we thought we were gonna be there for hours. I was even like, "Fuck, well, where can I?" You know, like I could pay a fucking, you know, a, a fucking guy, cop yeah. over there, a guy. Like to I don't trip, you know. But it wasn't even packed. I mean, it wasn't that packed. It I just it that packed. nah. The line went by pretty quick. It did. And like an hour. Or with less? a drive, it's mostly the drive. That's about it. Like two hours, an hour and a half. I was still like very like lum. I was still very like dizzy. So, I didn't even feel it right, to be honest. Um, but other than that, yeah, recovery was good. Doctor was good. Everything was good. We recommend it if you're looking into it. Um, but, yeah, how do you rate the service? 10 out of 10, I, I rate them a 10. 10. Like, yeah, like, yeah, really good. Have to and they let you record. They let you record everything there. Like, the whole process and everything. I guess she didn't want to. I don't know why. I... Like she didn't, she like the doctor told her like go ahead record whatever you want this and this, but I don't know why like she didn't want to. No, I'm not gonna but, show you guys me getting my yeah at the same time like stab like what the hell yeah watch him get all nervous too fucking let me say that watch him get all nervous and like you know something no I'm fine no I'm I know you guys would probably like to see raw footage like that but no he told me like you want to record you want to you want to see your meat. You want to see what I, we took out? And I'm like, no, I'm ready to go. I just recorded that little piece um, in my other video. Like I showed you guys when I was getting my band-aids and like all that. But, but yeah, I do wear that every night, every day. You're supposed to wear it um, every day for a whole month if you want good results. They recommend at least two weeks. Like if you're just not trying to wear it, you know, two weeks. But if you really want to see really good results. And I, I think for like someone who has like really chubby cheeks and like a big double chin, like more on the chubbier side i think you should wear it for the month you know for better results so i do wear mine every day like all the time i sleep with it and everything on 
um just today we went out to eat and honestly like i didn't want to wear it like i wanted to do my makeup i wanted to get ready but that's all for this video thank you guys for watching um yeah we'll try to post more sorry we've been lagging it um but yeah yeah we've been lagging it due to like You've been lagging it. Whoa, I've been shirt, telling them you know, record. what she got, what she got done. So, and that, and then plus, like, ideas. Like, we need, Give if us you guys ideas, have guys. any Keep ideas, comments. you know, any ideas, what do you guys want to see or, or want us to record, let us know a day in our life, whatever it is, let us know. Uh, I think a day in our life, I think we did a couple, a couple of them. And... Yeah, we're you trying know. to keep um ideas fresh, you know, like we don't want to like feel like forced, you know, like we like to do like I feel like when I started my YouTube channel before I I'm, I'm I still have my videos up. I feel like I would kind of like try too hard. Like I wasn't like like myself, like I would try to be like very professional, very like, eh, you know, and I feel like that's boring. Like you want to see how somebody really is, like how they truly are. And well, that's the content we're trying to bring to you guys, like how we really are, the things we really do. Because sometimes we do so many dumb things that it's so funny. Like we're like very like family oriented. Like we're always with our families, and like we're funny. Like like honestly, we're really funny. But like w when we're in those moments, like that's the last thing we kind of think about. Like oh, let's grab the camera and record. You know, like we're just in the moment. So I think we gotta get used to that and like learn how to pick up a camera when things are actually really funny. Yeah. <laughs> but. Other than that, our kids like to record. They're actually telling us, like, Mommy, we want to do a video. We want to do a video with you guys. And I'm thinking right now, after we end this video, I think we're going to answer questions. We're going to do um, questions that I've gotten asked. So stay tuned for that video. And like we said, this is us plus two. And thank you guys for watching. Thank Bye. you guys. Peace.